Welcome back, grade 4 students. Today, we'll compare fractions. On page 76 of your textbook, this lesson can be found. Please bring out your textbook. Turn on page 76. Let's start comparing fractions with the same denominator. Look at the shaded portions of the diagrams or drawings. 4 eighths is greater than 3 eighths. Or you can say 3 eighths is smaller than 4 eighths. Number 2. Compare 2 sevenths and 4 sevenths. Based on the shaded portions, we know that 2 sevenths is smaller than 4 sevenths or 4 sevenths is greater than 2 sevenths. Remember, in comparing fractions with the same denominator, we need to compare only the numerators. The fraction with a greater numerator is the greater fraction. Suppose we have 5 as our denominators. 2 and 3 are our numerators respectively. Because 2 is smaller than 3, therefore, 2 fifths is smaller than 3 fifths. Let's have more examples. 7 tenths is smaller than 9 tenths. 8 thirteenths is greater than 5 thirteenths. 4 ninths is greater than 2 ninths. What about comparing fractions with the same numerator? From the shaded portions, we can see that 1 third is greater than 1 sixth, and 1 sixth is smaller than 1 third. The second example, compare 2 fifths and 2 eighths. From the shaded portions, we know that 2 fifths is greater than 2 eighths, or 2 eighths is smaller than 2 fifths. You notice that when comparing two fractions with the same numerator, we need to compare only the denominators. The fraction with the smaller denominator is the greater fraction. Let's say 5 are the same numerators, and the denominators are 8 and 9 respectively. Since the denominator 8 is smaller than 9, then the fractions 5 8 is greater than 5 ninths. Remember, the fraction with the smaller denominator is the greater fraction. More examples. 2 ninths is greater than 2 elevenths. 7 eighths is greater than 7 ninths. And 2 fifths is smaller than 2 thirds. Next is comparing fractions of different numerators and denominators. Let's compare 3 fourths and 5 eighths. In this kind of example, look at the denominators. You notice that they have different denominators. Step 1, equalize the denominators. Let's make the denominator 4 into number 8. So, we multiply 2 to number 4. Remember, the number you multiply to the denominator should be also the number you multiply to the numerator to have an equivalent fractions. So now, 3 fourths becomes 6 eighths. 3 fourths is equivalent to 6 eighths. We now go to step 2, compare the numerators, 6 and 5, 6 eighths compared to 5 eighths. You can clearly see now that 6 eighths is greater than 5 eighths. Therefore, the answer when we compare 3 fourths and 5 eighths is 3 fourths is greater than 5 eighths. Another example, compare 2 ninths and 1 third. Let's equalize the denominators by multiplying 3 thirds to 1 third. 1 third becomes 3 ninths. They are equivalent fractions. Therefore, our answer is 2 ninths is smaller than 3 ninths. Let's compare 3 eighths and 5 twelfths. To equalize the denominators, let's multiply 3 thirds to 3 eighths and 2 halves to 5 twelfths. The equivalent fraction of 3 eighths is 9 twenty fourths. 
and the equivalent fractions of 5 twelfths is 10 twenty fourths. Therefore, 9 twenty fourths is smaller than 10 twenty fourths, and the answer is 3 eighths is smaller than 5 twelfths. Next is how to compare a proper fraction with a mixed number. This is easier because we all know that a mixed number has a whole number which is greater than a proper fraction. Therefore, 2 and 1 fourth is greater than 7 eighths. More examples. 1 and 4 fifths is greater than 10 elevenths. 4 sevenths is smaller than 2 and 3 fourths. 9 tenths is smaller than 6 and 4 fifths. 8 and 2 thirds is greater than 9 tenths. Next is comparing a proper fraction with an improper fraction. We all know that an improper fraction is always greater than 1 or equal to 1. And at the same time, an improper fraction is converted to a mixed number. Therefore, the same rule is applied to how to compare a proper fraction with a mixed number. So, if we are going to compare 9 tenths and 17 fifteenths, obviously, 17 fifteenths is greater than 9 tenths or 9 tenths is smaller than 17 fifteenths. More examples, 9 fifths is greater than 3 tenths, 7 ninths is smaller than 3 halves, 1 third is smaller than 10 sevenths, 55 eighths is greater than 77 over 89. And now, let's answer practice exercise number 1, where is A to N, that can be found on page 82 of your textbook. And here are the answers. Letter A, 6 sixteenths is greater than 10 sixteenths. Letter B, 4 eighths is smaller than 4 sixths. Letter C, 7 nineteenths is smaller than 10 nineteenths. Letter D, 5 eighths is greater than 5 ninths. Letter E, 11 fifteenths is smaller than 11 twelfths. Letter F, 3 tenths is smaller than 1 half. Letter G, 11 twentieths is greater than 8 twentieths. And letter H, 3 sevenths is greater than 1 fourth. Letter I, 3 and 3 fourths is greater than 19 sixteenths. Letter J, 9 eighths is greater than 7 sixteenths. Letter K, 31 over 15 is smaller than 2 and 1 third. Letter L, 19 over 20 is smaller than 7 over 5. Letter M, 3 and 3 fourths is greater than 7 tenths. Letter N, 17 over 20 is smaller than 3 and 1 fourth. Your homework today is to answer workbook exercises found on page 67, letter G, numbers 1 to 15. So that's all for today. This is Teacher Christopher saying stay home, stay safe, and have fun in learning all your subjects online. See you again next time. Bye-bye.